guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal Little Lisa Routine Games on the last episode. We did a little bit of plot, we did our exams, and we hung out with our friends and made decisions on what we want to do next and on what we should do. To be honest, we are mostly just kind of trying to bide our time a little bit because we were doing our exams, but then we decided we were going to try and find the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns because we think they have been setting up us, the Phantom Thieves, for a huge downfall like what has just happened to us basically so we're gonna try and, and figure out what to do from there uh, but at school we've mostly just been lying low we um all of the second years are now uh, joining the third years at Shujin in the festival in the um, school festival cultural festival executive committee to figure out what guests they want to to bring to the the, the cultural festival this year and the most voted for one is Akechi so we're, we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do along those lines, but it looks like we finally have an evening to ourselves to do kind of what we like. So I believe we're gonna hang out with, uh, was it Mishima that we're gonna hang out with? Because EY doesn't have enough points. Yeah, and Mishima's kind of like almost gonna level up. Well, he is gonna level up. He's almost at rank ten though. He's at he's going to be rank nine. So I think we're gonna hang out with Mishima tonight, and it should be okay. A catch is available. <laughs> we can't hang out with him though. He's still locked. Um, which is upsetting, but that's fine. I, I believe I watched TV last time, so we should be fine for that. Um, yeah, I, I don't really see anything else that we need to do right now, so I might as well, we might as well just go ahead and uh, answer our text, shall we? Um, so we have this one from EY first. I need help at the shop. Stop by if you can. Well, that was brief. Uh, sorry, EY, no. But Mishima, on the other hand. I have a lot to report about Akiyama-kun. You might get a little spooked when you hear it. It's going to be long. Want to meet up? I feel like my bond with Mishima will go stronger soon. So what are your thoughts? Do you want to meet up with Mishima? Let's do it. Sure. Okay, let's meet at the diner. <sighs> so you remember those guys who beat Akiyama-kun up? Well, it turns out they were really dangerous. I looked them up found some seriously scary info. Apparently they're part of a gang that's ex involved in extortions, extortion stuff like that all the time. I wish I had known that going in. One slip of the tongue in that act I pulled and I would have been dead. You showed some real courage. Hmm? You really think so? <laughs> but I pissed all over myself again when I was researching those guys. Honestly though, you're amazing. You weren't afraid in the slightest. Maybe it's only natural after all the nightmares you've been through. Yo, Mishima. Hey. Uh, hi there. Whoa, it really is Mishima. Dude, right? Nobody else could be this boring. Hey, you figured out what you're gonna do after high school. It's just... Uh, uh, not yet. How about the military? Nobody had ever noticed a zero like you stealthing around. <laughs> too true. I bet you can sneak it anywhere, huh? You'd be Japan's ultimate weapon. Sh shut up. Akiyama-kun. Huh? Something wrong? Uh, not exactly. Come on, just forget about him. It's no fun messing with Mishima anymore. What do you mean, no fun? You're always the one screwing with him the most. I don't know, guess I got tired of it. Hey, about before... I've been thinking, well, I probably should thank you. Huh? Has something happened with you two? You know you have been acting weird lately, Akiyama. Don't think I'd have noticed all that bruises you got. Uh, I... No, no. Um, before... I don't really know what you're talking about. Mishima. My bad. Guess it was someone else. You've changed, though. Hmm? Huh? Yo, glasses. I always see you two together. You be coaching them? Something like that. <laughs> That's so. I'm kind of jealous. Anyway, see you later. Wait up, wait up, Akiyama! <laughs> it looks like Akiyama could's gonna be just fine. He's a pretty strong-willed guy. And 
I really have changed, huh? Do you think maybe now I'm starting to be like the Phantom Thieves? All right. I'm gonna work even harder now to make sure I live up to your legacy. Mishima is showing a passionate resolve. Oh, that was sweet. Akiyama, like, trying to say something to him, and then Mishima, like, saying that to save, to help him save face. That was quite nice. <sighs> he really has grown. All right. Your moon confidant has increased to rank 9. You'll now earn more EXP from Arcana Buster and facing personas of the moon Arcana. Um. You know, I always used to think I couldn't amount to anything. But I somehow managed to step up and help Akiyama-kun with those thugs. It made me realize there really are things I can do to save people. That's why I've started writing a documentary on the Phantom Thieves. The research I did on that gang Akiyama-kun was wrapped up in was actually what pushed me to do it. And now I'm basically putting together a massive log of all your activities from the fan site. I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> That's some serious pressure. But I'll show you what I can do. I mean, I want to call... I won a composition contest back in fifth grade, so this shouldn't be any more difficult, right? All right. At any rate, we should celebrate today. My treat. Screw the fan drinks. Let's go straight for the fancy fruit juice. It's three times the price, so it's gotta be three times better. What about a parfait instead? But I only have so much money. If you want to order anything else, it'll have to come out of your own pocket, okay? Anyway, let's party until we have to go catch the last train. <laughs> Woo! See you later. That's cute. I have 600,000 yen. Please take my money. Ooh, what is up? You're still rocking into the night, Amamiya chan Sorry, I don't know the right thing to say after coming home from a party. <laughs> but that was so fun, right? I've never stayed that late at a diner before. You think it's the power of that fancy fruit juice? I mean, it did cost three times the usual price. Okay, I'll stop joking around. I think I'm just really happy to hear that one comment from Akiyama-kun. You were what he said about me. But do you think some part of me's really changed? The sparkle in your eyes? Wait, really? You mean, I actually look confident now? <laughs> Gosh, man, bro, you're gonna make me blush. <laughs> but thank you. That documentary I mentioned? Starting today, I'm gonna seriously start writing it. And once it's finished, I want you to be the first one to read the script. It's our promise. A vow between men, okay? See you. What does that detective think he's doing? He's just trying to get popular, isn't he? He wants to stand out. Just hurry up and arrest the Phantom Thieves already. I'm curious. It does seem like he knows something. I bet he found out some really juicy secret. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well... Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking Akechi-kun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous. But without a powerful source of intel? We won't be able to win against the police network, and I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. 
Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite a Ketchikun? Should be fine. Okay then. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on, how are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. Actually, I do. For real? Could you send that my way, please? I'll contact him right away. Gotta say, I'm really not big on the Sakechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec, didn't he say he wasn't gonna do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we gonna do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. <sighs> Who would have thought we'd end up relying on a catchy? That's really interesting. Okay, this time we actually gave Makoto a catchy's number. That that was different in OG because we didn't have his number, I don't think, because obviously his confidant was manual wasn't manual, sorry, it was automatic. So we didn't have his number, so Futaba got it, I think, from um, from Sai's laptop info. Obviously that's changed now for because we actually have his number. <laughs> that's so funny. Anyway, hi Mona. Didn't Akechi say he was through making public appearances for now? I wonder if he'll be really interested in our offer. Well, you never know. I guess we have to wait for him to get back to us. Yep. The school festival starts on Tuesday, huh? It's so soon. It really is, Mona. It really is. Um, I just found my plant the other day, so... Nice. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I can go out tonight, though. Uh, Mona's standing up, so I should be able to go out. Let's watch TV. Over 10 days since it happened, Mr. Okamura's death has had a clear effect on the stock market. The stock prices of security companies are on the rise due to growing concerns about public safety. Overall stock market performance, though, is down, and phantom thief goods companies are suffering. <sighs> I never expected that even the economy would get worse. This isn't our fault. Yeah, this is why you don't make a company based on, like, a fleeting fad, like the phantom thieves, or various other things. Oh, man. Okay, it looks like we're probably gonna have to spend time with EY tonight because he's the only one available who we can actually do anything for. So I guess we'll just go straight over and do that. We have nothing else to do today, I don't think. So let's head straight over to the airsoft shop. I hate that I have to spend so many evenings fixing him because he somehow, somehow doesn't get enough points. Is he just difficult to level up? All right, hi there, let me work for you. I want to take Karu somewhere he can have fun on some have some fun on my day off. But he's always so serious. I wonder if there's a good place we can go take his mind off his studies. Whatever. I'll leave the shop work to you. I feel like I can be close to EY thanks to the Heyman persona Hecaton Karis. I don't think my bond with EY will deepen just yet. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with EY? Let's do it. Maybe I should invite him to the planetarium. Yeah, let's do it, yeah! <laughs> I see. That's not bad. If you know where it is, take me there so I can check it out. Hmm. Planetarium, huh? Yeah. Nkaru would like this place. It'd be educational, too. I wonder why kids get interested in stuff like stars and space. Man. It's all couples here. This ain't no place for an old guy like me to stroll in with another guy. <laughs> Technology these days sure is impressive. 
I barely understood what they were saying, though. I better educate myself before I bring Karu here. Don't be a show-off. Shut up. Yo. There's something I want to ask you. What would you say a good father's like? I never had someone like that, so I gotta figure out how to be a normal parent for Karu. Ugh, never mind. It'd like me to talk about this crap. There are some families here, but it looks like they're with younger kids. I hope Karu still wants to come here. I feel that my bond with EY will grow stronger soon. See ya. Thanks for today. Oh, Karu will definitely want to go with you, EY. That was a sweet scene. sleeping well? You look kind of tired. It might not be my place to ask, but are you okay? What do you mean? No. Um, never mind. It's nothing. That reminds me. Tomorrow is the school festival, isn't it? Is your class finished with preparations? It feels kind of nice working with everyone to put all the things together. I hope we all have a fun time tomorrow. Well, I'm going to do some training today, so please excuse me. Hey. You hear about who we're gay for our guest this year? Oh, you mean a catchy, right? I kind of saw that coming. Everyone I knew voted for him. Did he say he wasn't going to make any more appearances, though? Why do you already come here? It probably has to do with the Phantom Thieves. Wasn't Akashi going around saying how evil they were before? Oh yeah, that proves that they're connected to our school somehow then. Hey, you're right. Maybe he'll tell us some stuff about the case. No way am I going to miss the panel this year. Hmm. <sighs> I hope they, they just say whatever they want with no thought. <sighs> but for now, we'll just need to endure it. At least until we get some more intel. Yes. I met a friend from college the other day. We got talk we got caught up talking about old times. Some of those old stories sounded too crazy to be true, now that we've got so many years behind us. <laughs> Sometimes people have a real hard time remembering what's real and what's exaggerated. This kind of stuff happens to you guys too, right? But there's a reason for this. This phenomenon has a name too. How about you? Alright, I'm a Miyaku. From a psychological standpoint, what's a key reason our memories can differ from reality? I would imagine it's memory bias? Um, I mean obviously, like you forget key details, and obviously lack of sleep can affect like what you remember, I guess, possibly. But I would say memory bias because you remember things from your own perspective and you focus on certain aspects of those like interactions and things. So I remember like random bits from when I was a kid that focus on stuff that probably wasn't even the situation at all, to be honest. But I remember it for some reason. <laughs> you know, like even parts of like episodes that I record, I'll remember some stuff more than others. And uh, different people have different perspectives on that stuff, so I would imagine it's memory bias. That just seems to make sense. I'll check with the network, but that's why I would say. Yeah, yeah, it is. That just, it makes sense. Memory bias. This is it. Right. That's right. Impressive. It's a type of cognitive bias that can impair or even alter your memories. Specifically, the name of the, name of the phenomenon in question is called false memory. Like the name implies, it's a case where our brain may generate memories that simply aren't true. Hey, did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Maybe I should ask if I could borrow his notes. Nice going! Why, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that! Thanks, Mona. Yeah, that, that just seemed to make sense, I guess. I don't know, it's probably pretty obvious. Hmm. 
The difference between inaccurate memories and, and the facts can lead to a lot of confusion. Still, if your subconscious desire manifests as a memory, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. False memories, huh? Hmm. But it's totally real to the person, right? What a strange concept. Yeah, isn't that what Futaba had, technically? Oh, her grades are out. How'd you do? Damn, I'm dead. Hey, look at that! Look, I got the top score! I wonder what score I got. I'm top of the class. Hey! That's amazing! Everyone's gonna have their eyes on you now! We're supposed to be laying low, Mona! A most studious disguise, that'll be because I got top of the class. I got charm as well and I didn't even need it, but whatever. <laughs> Any word from Akechi? Nothing. But the f but tomorrow is the start of the school festival. Will this be okay? If Akechi kind of declines our offer, we won't have a guest. Huh? That's what you're worried about? I appreciate the concern, but it will be fine. I just need to get Akechi kun to agree to this somehow. Yep. What's that bastard up to, anyways? He hasn't done anything since he said he was going to go into hiding. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstances surrounding the school festival to him again. Hopefully he can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Welcome home. I freaking have to, I have to. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. You're back awfully late. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shino? It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. That man's voice. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's going to do everything. This is an important undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. Rampant political scandals, thieves on the loose, as sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. I feel like I've met that man somewhere before. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried, moron. You're obstructing business. That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Don't you think, boss? Sorry. Wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. It isn't about liking or disliking them. It's more about how he suggests the Phantom Thieves be crushed when they've yet to be arrested. If this Sukumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only change the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. 
But they are innocent. <laughs> I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met. I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and... Ah, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. <laughs> that kid was going on about some real complicated stuff. He's probably a fair bit smarter than you, huh? Well, he's a prodigy. Oh, I didn't notice I had gotten a response from Akechi-kun. He accepted the lecture invitation. Well done. Thank you. The first step is done, at least. Either way, the real issue is what we do next. The lecture is on the afternoon on the second day, yes? Wait, you're coming to our school festival? It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. Can you afford that distraction? Uh, how's your studying going? Decently. Incidentally, will that counselor be at the festival as well? Oh, Dr. Markey? Probably. I see. Finally, I shall witness his skills for myself. Perhaps I should prepare a gift. They say first impressions are everything. I don't know if you'll even be there. If anything gets confirmed, I'll drop you a line. Much obliged. You want to come too, Fataba? Come on, it'll be fun! Uh, seriously? I don't see why not. We should all walk around together tomorrow. That sounds good. At a time like this? This is the perfect chance for us to relax, though. Haru, um, you sure you're okay? This seems a little soon. I am, thank you. I've just always dreamed of walking around my school festival with friends. I suppose if you say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoying our time there too. Thanks, Haru. It's my pleasure. Oh, that's sweet. We'll get to walk around the festival with our friends. Yeah, it's sweet because Makoto and Haru are both in their final year as Shujin, so they won't get to do that ever again. Okay, who's actually available other than Oya? <laughs> no one, probably. Um, oh, nope, nope, that's a baby. I was hoping Mishima would be available, but he's not. We'll hang out with Oya then, give her some points. <sighs> Let's watch TV first, though. Next up is news about the Dark Wings. We conducted a survey about the Phantom Thieves, who have been the target of intensifying criticism. Close to 90% of respondents said they do not report th they do not support the Phantom Thieves. <sighs> the whole world's against us now. This could be bad. I think it already is bad. <laughs> Yikes. Hi, Pompous Customer. You have had, like, two different voice actors voice you, aside from, like, my, you know, um, substitute voicing. <laughs> So, here we go. Hi, how are you doing? I was drawn in before I knew it. His articulate words moved me to the core. This country's got a first-rate economy with a, f with a cut-rate government. He's a rare specimen. Our souls resonate on the same frequency. That is, exceptional people can always recognize one another. You'll see one day. <laughs> sure, if you say so, pompous man. Hello, Sojiro. Yo. Hey. How did the exams go? Perfect. Oh. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Then maybe you didn't need this. Oh well, take it. We got a LeBlanc charm! <laughs> I made it myself. It's got my finest coffee beans in it. I wanted to give it to you before the exams, but... Well, you'll still have more tests. Don't let up on finals. Thanks, Sojiro! You're so kind! What, what, what does that do? Let's have a quick look at it. I'm not going to change over what I've got on, but... I, oh yeah, I have a region, huh? Um, Where is it? LeBlanc Charm? I, is it near the bomb, or...? Oh, there it is. Null Sleep contains boss's finest coffee beans. <laughs> no wonder it has Null Sleep on it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, okay, let's go and hang out with Oya, shall we? Alright, we've read this text from her before, so I won't do that. Let's go see her. Oh, honey. Oh, hi, Lala-chan. Oh, it's always a joy to see you. Okay, hi, Oya. Hmm. 
Kokumura Foods. That was unexpected, huh? And then your principal commits suicide. The public blames the Phantom Thieves for both incidents, but something doesn't add up. I guess you're rubbing up on me, but I guess a journalist's gotta question everything. Do you have a lot of info on the Phantom Thieves? I feel like I could become close to Oya thanks to the Devil Persona Lilum. I don't think my bond with Oya will deepen just yet. Well, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with Oya? Let's do it. Then take a seat. Oh, I look forward to it. Oya seems happy. I provided her with some info. I feel like my bond with Oya will grow stronger soon. Well then. Okay, bye. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. The Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got Akechi as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. Just enjoy yourself. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. You're so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... You seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone, and eat at the refreshment stands. This'll be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Let's do it. Alright, this is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. This is the place. Made takoyaki? New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? W what happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of Codro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. That doesn't even sound remotely possible! Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Y'all oh, can see that! Ryuji, you're making a scene! Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. 
uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. Well, I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. Hell no. I'm of the same mind. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechikun is planning. Thank you for the wait! Ooh, it's fresh made! Lies! I heard a microwave go off! Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. I is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. Mm, but all of them are misshapen. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? Think it'll be spicy? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, everyone's all here. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes, since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. <gasps> the special one! Let's just call this my performance fee. But... It's fine. Hmm. It's quite... <laughs> Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. My throat. This is... Oh, my stomach. It burns. Are you okay? Do you need water? I'm... I'm fine. I just love uh, spicy... spicy stuff. <laughs> Hey, does he sound broken to you? Well then, I'll... I'll see you, uh... T -t -t tomorrow Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But, did he truly come to simply check the venue? This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're... Be here just imagining things. So, I guess we got through all of it, okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously? I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. Huh. I didn't mind any of that. 
I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with Akechi-kun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? Oh? Wait. Uh, Ren? Yusuke's missing. <sighs> Where'd he want her off to? Always doing whatever he pleases. Think he's still checking out all the festival stalls? Let's head back. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. This is Yusuke we're talking about. Let's head home. Um... Excuse me. You're Dr. Takamaruki, correct? Uh... Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, um, uh, yes. I... My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm a student in the Fine Arts Division at Kosei High. I do apologize for interrupting your day, but ever since Ryuji and Odds first spoke of you, I've grown quite intrigued. Now I wish to speak with you as well. Ry oh, Sakamoto kun and Takamaki-san? Quite. Well, I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. You're here about the counseling, correct? Indeed. Correct. Now, teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into its endless abyss. Hold on. Uh, whoa, whoa, hold on there. Uh, how should I put this? Uh, your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I suspect there's a huge misunderstanding about what I do. I apologize, I simply couldn't contain my excitement. Would you permit me to witness your counseling skills in action? That's not really allowed. <laughs> About it. Oh, but how about this? Why not try out my counseling yourself instead? Me? Mm -hmm. Of course, there's no charge. All you'd have to do is chat with me for a bit. Well then. Very well. You and I shall go head to head. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think happens in counseling, but uh, there won't be any of that. I see. So you were Madarame-san's. It's in the past. Oh, how curious. I never expected- I never imagined counseling to be like this. Well, uh... Well, I say this is less counseling and more about building a rapport. When someone first comes to see me, we always start with them telling me a bit about themselves. Hmm. A method of self-reflection that relies on speaking with another person so as to sort through one's own emotions. That's rather sim that's rather similar to the internal cross-examination I perform when working on my art. <sighs> there really shouldn't be any cross-examining in a proper counseling session, though. I just do my best to guide patients in a positive direction so they can improve their lives. At the very least, I talk them through their problems so they can make the correct choices for themselves. I see. However, if you're the one leading them to the conclusions, are they truly making the choices for themselves? Isn't that just submitting to another person's will? In all honesty, I'm sure there are people out there who think like that. But life in this world confines people to certain frames of mind sometimes, and without them even realizing it. If I can help lift their weight off their shoulders and free their minds, I believe the results are worth it. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you for speaking with me. This has been a most valuable experience. Oh, yes. Before you go, Kitakoakun, what would you say is your greatest wish in life at the moment? Would it be success as an artist? I... No, that's not it. The only desire I have for my art is for it to improve through my own efforts. I see. Then what would you wish for? I would wish for the world to see my mother's painting for the masterpiece that it is, no matter how briefly. And if at all possible, I would also wish to meet a wonderful master, one who would take me in and guide my brush with care. Hmm. Ah, uh, I see.
see. All right. Thank you. At any rate, I must be going now, so please excuse me. I hope we meet again someday. Well then. Tomorrow's the moment of truth. Akechi's panel. Apologies for suddenly disappearing like that. The legend of the lost Inari has come to an end. Where the hell were you? Did you seriously get lost? I saw a man who resembled Dr. Marky, so I went to see him. So he was there? Did he go to his counseling? Yes, it was certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I think I'd like to go to another session. Try not to cause him any trouble, alright? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? Yeah. Are you still at school, Yusuke? No, I just got back to the door. I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Isn't that un- Is that unusual? Tomorrow is Akechi-kun's panel, after all. An early night means he'll be able to concentrate tomorrow. That's true. We all need to stay focused tomorrow. We have to stay calm no matter what he says. Right. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. It's really up to Mikoto to get as much information as we can from Akechi. We'll have to make sure she doesn't miss it. We'll have to make sure we don't miss anything. Yeah, we'll have to be careful. That scene between Yusuke and Marku is really interesting, huh? I couldn't help but laugh, I'm sorry. It's just Yusuke's so eccentric and when he was moving forward and Marky was like, okay, okay, calm down. It was just funny to me. Oh man, yeah. It ended up being a really like in-depth conversation for Yusuke though, like about Madarami and his mother and stuff. Wow. Wow. I hope that does him a bit of good. Like, just talking about it and stuff. Anyway. Photo time! Oh, hello! Photo time! This is when we were at the food stand. Oh, that's adorable! Oh, I love that a lot! Oh, that's so cute! Look at these girls. They're so cute. Oh, wow. Man, even, even Yakisoba looks high class when Haro's eating it. Please, you're exaggerating. I think this is my first time having yakisoba from a food stand, though. It was more delicious than I'd imagined. It was! It wasn't the instant stuff, but it's still good. Yeah, I don't know why, but food from a stall is always weirdly tasty. Speaking of which, where are the pictures of us, Anne? On. Hmm? You, have pics of, you got pics of us too, right? How about the one you took of Ren's yakisoba, with the big red mana ginger? No, that went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. But that sounds so cute. Was it was it Ryuji who put the mountain of yak of um, of ginger on there because he was putting a mountain of ginger on the the food that they ate when they first formed their um formed their contract, <laughs> like when we first got Ryuji as a confidant. Uh, maybe I'm not sure. That's so cute though. Alright, I don't think I can go out tonight, which is a shame. Hi, Mona. Okay. All we can do now is hope Makoto does well at tomorrow's panel. Yeah, that's that's all we can do. I don't think I'll be able to phone Kawakami, which is a shame. Hey, hey. Whatever that red thing was, it's really strong. Is it red ginger? Or is it just red? Because <laughs> in the beef bowl showtime, Yutsuke goes, uh, what was it? A touch of red. Bon appetit. <laughs> I love it a lot. But what is the red? We just don't know. Anyway. And that's actually where we're going to have to end off this episode for today, unfortunately. I kind of went a little bit long in recording, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today, including the first day of our time at the festival, the school festival, you know, encountering Akechi, um, our plan with Akechi, all that stuff, uh, as well as the confidants we did and the <laughs> conversation we got to see with Yusuke and Maruki. I hope you enjoyed all of that. Next time we will go ahead and see what will happen on the second day of the festival so do look forward to it. But for now, what's more, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time. No. 
Teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into its endless abyss. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love him. 